Hi everyone, it's Jill again. Um, I'm back with <clears throat> a wonderful gift from Nancy Martinez. Uh, <clears throat> I sent Nancy a little package a while ago and she sent me one. We were going to just exchange a card, um, but I don't think either one of us did very well at that, although I think she went way beyond what I did for her. <laughs> Nancy's such a sweetheart. Um, I opened the box so you wouldn't see her address. She had it wrapped so cute in gingham paper. And I'm just going to lift everything out and see if I can figure out um, what all she has in the box here. I don't want to break anything. It looks like whatever it is she has wrapped very carefully so that maybe it wouldn't break or something. Um, See if I can get it out. <laughs> oh, you guys, she sent me one of her snowmen. <gasps> oh, you guys, you should see this in person. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it justice on camera, but this is one of her little snowmen that she made. And uh, look at the little eyes and the cheeks and the little nose. Look at the nose. Oh my gosh, and she has jingle bells. And some um, like little holly leaves. And look at the hat with the little pom-pom. And if I'm not mistaken, that looks like maybe some tilde paper. And then down here around the neck, she has, um, uh, what do you call that? Anyway, a tissue paper collar with lace. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to go put this up on my tree. Um, I stick figurines in my tree sitting on the branches and then I put ornaments around them um, and it kind of adds life to, to the tree to have figurines in it sitting on the branches um, and I also have bird nests and stuff but I think Rhonda this is either going to go up and sit um, with some of my other snowmen in my living room or I might actually put this on the tree because it's so sparkly look at the workmanship look at the little arms isn't it beautiful you guys and she made this. Um, and I forget who the tutorial um, is, but I think I saved it to my playlist for Christmas Crafts to Inspire. I have a playlist out there that has all the things that I look at that I want to try. And um, anyway, I think Ron, uh, Nancy had tried this based on the video uh, that she saw. And um, I just think it's adorable. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you sent this to me, Nancy. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Rhonda sent me stuff. Nancy sent me stuff. I've got packages from uh, Muriel. Crafty Irina sent me something which I haven't opened yet on camera <clears throat> or in real life either for that matter. And I still have tags I need to show you from <clears throat> the tag swap that Crafty and I, Irina and I did with um, Miss Purple Potato Jody. Uh, so Lots to show you guys, but let's finish up with this package from Nancy first. Um, she's got a beautiful card in the bottom of the box here. Oops. Um, and it all, you guys, even, even the box smells good. I don't know what she does, but <laughs> the box smells heavenly. Uh, and she had it all wrapped in beautiful gingham paper, which you know is a favorite of mine. Um, so she sent a beautiful card. Look at this card. Look at the pretty um, sparkle trees. And she's got my favorite reindeer in there <clears throat> from your next stamp. Um, and it says Merry Christmas. And then she's got the glittery hills edged in a little bit of blue ink. And then these pretty sparkly um, <coughs> uh, snowflakes there. Oh, that is just beautiful. I love it, Nancy. Love, 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 love. And uh, she sent me, <clears throat> oh, listen, she says, Hi, Jill. I just wanted to send you a little thank you gift for being so kind and sweet. I wish you and Timmy a very merry and blessed Christmas season. Blessing and hugs, Nancy. P.S. I hope my little snow girl will, ma will make it. Laugh out loud. And it did make it, and it's absolutely adorable, and I will treasure it for always and always. Thank you so much, Nancy. <clears throat> and then she also sent this, I think this, I'm trying to figure out how this works. Oh, this is probably the lid. 
of the little box. Can you guys see that? She actually made this little box and on the top of it is a little scene with, um, oh, what do you call those? Mushrooms and a little bunny rabbit and a little tree. And then the whole box is decorated with little fences and um, the cutest little um, uh, candy canes. Jeez, I can't talk this morning, you guys. I'm sorry. Look at that little tiny thing. Little tiny animal whose name I can't think of. It's not a porcupine. It's, uh, anyway. <laughs> and a little owl. Uh, oh, and look at, there's a fox from Lawn Fawn. I love Lawn Fawn. And there's a little deer. This is so cute. So she created the box and decorated it. And then inside, it's filled with all sorts of little goodies and stuff. Oh, look at this. So, and this could be used to, to just sit on out as a decoration because it's so sweet. I'll just leave that on my desk right there. Um, and then inside the bag, oh my goodness, she sent all sorts of little Christmas crafty goodies. <coughs> so, you know I'll be putting these over in my muffin tin that Elise sent me. <coughs> so look at all these, you guys. Look at these tiny little mushrooms. Those are adorable. I definitely will use those in my little, um, some of my little Christmas uh, scenes that I'm working on. And uh, look at that little tiny tree. A green one and a white one. And then she sent me one of the little, or two, of the little Santa Bells. Those are so cute. I love the little Santa Bells. <coughs> I was trying to think of a way to use this. I have this idea to use the Santa Bell as the head and then to use pipe cleaners to make a body and then make an ornament so that it's a Santa ornament. So that's my idea. And that was why I bought some of them last year, but I still haven't had time to try it. So if anybody has time to try it, um, I just think it would make the cutest little thing and then you could add a little hat on top of the bell. So that's my idea. Anyway, um, she also sent this adorable little ballerina. A ballerina. Look at, oh, and she sent me little reindeer, which is so sweet because I gave some of my reindeer to my sister yesterday. She needed them for some Christmas gifts. And there's two different sizes. Oh my gosh, Nancy, thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to have to make something. <clears throat> so little reindeer, some more jingle bells, some little hollies, different sized hollies. Um, some are bigger and some are smaller. Look at that. Those are perfect for projects. And then um, look at these. Now she must have made these or gotten them from someone, but um, I think she makes these. Nancy, you tell me if you made it. I think it's a little mushroom and then it has little teeny tiny flowers on top with little blings in them. Those are so cute. And here's a little mushroom that's pink. So I don't know if she made all these or just got them or something. Look at that's a little bird on sitting on some roses. You guys know I'm a huge rose gardener. If you don't know that, if you ever see my arms and my hands, I always have scars on my wrists and everything and it's from thorns going into my arms. <laughs> <laughs> which is dangerous they can you can get infected my my uh, soon-to-be sister-in-law got pricked on one of my rose bushes and ended up having to have surgery so you have to be careful with roses uh, they can cause problems <laughs> I have score uh, I trimmed a huge uh, uh, rose bush that climbs on a trellis in my yard and it hadn't been trimmed since my husband died and I did it alone this summer and it's not a good thing to trim uh, over the head very thorny rose bush by yourself. You need a second set of hands because uh, I gouged up my arms something awful and I still have scars from it. So, <laughs> But it's worth it because I love the roses and the hummingbirds come to my yard and, and drink from the roses all summer. So um, I love hummingbirds and I love cultivating a garden that gives our, the birds food to eat. So look at this, you guys. Teeny little bunny. Oh my gosh, Nancy, I am in love with these little things you sent me. <laughs> You know who else is going to want to play with them? Tim, my little boy who's upstairs asleep right now because it's only like six or seven in the morning. And uh, he, we stayed up kind of late last night. I was finishing wrapping some presents and stuff. But look at how tiny these bunnies are. I mean, that's my pinky. That's a tiny little bunny. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. 
Oh, Nancy, you're so sweet to think of me, honey. Um, look at all these fun things. And, and I really, this, this is just, I will treasure this. I can't believe you made it. It makes me want to try and make one. I bought some of the stuff from watching the video to try and make one, but I just haven't had time. <clears throat> and to be honest, you guys, I just, I'm still, I have asthma and I struggle with my lungs when I get sick and, uh, I have done everything they've told me to do other than it's hard for me to rest because I'm a parent. <laughs> but um, Timmy got out of school on Friday and it's uh, Monday morning now and I did rest over this weekend more than I had um, <clears throat> because Timmy had a play the week before and uh, just lots of activities going on and uh, it's just me. So <laughs> anyway, we made it through it all and hopefully uh, I can rest a little bit more now while we're on break for the next couple weeks. So, um, Nancy, you've touched my heart. I am so totally, just totally touched that you sent me this snowman. You have no idea. I don't know if you realize what a huge snowman person I am. Um, I should really film my tree in my kitchen, you guys, because it's all snowman or ornaments, and my whole house is covered with uh, snowman decorations at this time of year. Um, I grew up in Illinois where it snows all the time and I'm out here in Seattle. Um, my parents were born here and they moved our family back to Seattle in the 1980s and uh, I love Seattle. I love it here. The weather's beautiful, um, but I do miss the snow. Luckily I can drive an hour to the mountains and get all the snow I want in the winter time. But um, I, I love snow and I have lots of snowmen in my home. so. Um, this beautiful creation by Nancy Martinez will definitely be treasured by me. So, Nancy, I'm just tickled pink that you sent me this sweet, sweet snow creature. And uh, I'm just touched by all your gifts and your beautiful card. And most importantly, Nancy, by your wonderful spirit. Um, your videos never, never cease to make me smile and oftentimes laugh out loud. Uh, I find you utterly charming. And... Um, I enjoy watching you and I, I pray that um, your Christmas with your family is beautiful this year and that you're healthy and well to enjoy it. Um, and, you know, may God bless you and thank you for sharing uh, your Christmas joy with me. I'm very touched. So um, I just wanted to say to everybody too that uh, um, I looked today and I met over 1,500 subscribers, which means <clears throat> While well, I've been sick the last few weeks, um, I've had lots of people subscribe to my channel, probably because of curating for Christmas and how much fun it is. So I just want to welcome all my new subscribers to my channel um, and all of the people that watch my channel all the time. Um, I've been enjoying videos from so many p different people looking at what people are making, Marilyn and Elise and Laura and... Uh, Nancy and Kathy and Erica and um, geez, I, Muriel, uh, you know, there's just so many people out there. Laura Sturks, who's a car make, card maker that I watch all the time. And, you know, Christina Werner and Jennifer always have stuff to share. Um, so I watch that when I can. Uh, I haven't been able to watch as many videos lately just because things have been a little bit hectic and I just haven't been feeling good. Um, but know that I, I, uh, hope to get around to see everything eventually <laughs> and play catch up. Um, so lots of wonderful things. Uh, Amador has been sharing stuff, uh, on Facebook and, um, some videos too. And, uh, I, I need to play catch up on his channel right now also. Uh, and I'm probably forgetting a bunch of people. I always get off afterwards and think, oh, I didn't mention so-and-so. So, um, Anyway, you, I, I always enjoy everything I see and um, am in so inspired um, by everything that people uh, create. Um, beautiful tags, beautiful snowmen, um, beautiful ornaments. Uh, you know, my friend P, who lives across the pond here, across the water a little ways, um, creates such incredible prim snowmen and figurines and uh, her cards are incredible. You all just inspire me, and uh, I want to wish you all uh, a happy Christmas, uh, happy Kwanzaa, uh, and a happy Hanukkah. 
and just say that uh, if you're missing a loved one um, or feeling sad, just remember that they're with God and uh, celebrating Christmas in a very beautiful, holy place. And uh, try and remember the good times and the laughter, uh, the things that made you smile about them. Uh, that's it for me. I have more videos to, to come because I have so many beautiful gifts. Uh, to open. So hopefully I'll be doing the tags that I got from Jody from Miss Purple Potato and the gift from Crafty Irina next. So um, stay tuned and uh, God bless everybody. Bye now.